All right. Um, so welcome to the professional service committee meeting here at Alcasan. Today's date is July 12th, 2023. I'm going to call this meeting to order. It's rather um, cold for July. In January. <laughs> can we can we edit? <laughs> Not a problem. January is a day. Um, <clears throat> we are going to uh, do the roll call. Um, Ms. Myra, can you please do the roll call? Or Ms. Sylvia Wilson, Dr. Thorpe Gilliam, present. Representative Emily Kincaid, here. That is it for the roll call. All right, thank you. Um, so I think we, we're going to kick it off with some informational items. That is correct, Madam Chair. We are going to turn things over to the Director of Regional Conveyance, Mike. Keep it tight. I will. Thank you, Arletta. Um, this, this RFQ uh, solicitations for construction management oversight of our annual interceptor cleaning project, contract 1779, this project involves approximately 20 miles of the interceptor inspection and cleaning as needed in Turtle Creek Basin to include Thompson Run and Abers Creek. This contract is expected to be awarded later this year and run for approximately 365 days. It has been over 10 years since we took a comprehensive look at the Turtle Creek Basin and it's time for a new round of inspections and cleaning. And that's all I have. Thank you, Mike. Dr. G, you want to unmute? Thank you, Mike. Um, we're gonna move on to the action items. <clears throat> See, we have a, a motion to approve the following short list in alphabetical order for wet weather pump station. You have any um, information for us on that? Let's keep moving, Kim. Yes. So we um, solicited <coughs> qualifications for our next uh, plan expansion project. We received four sets of um, qualifications on January 4th. They're four um, well put together qualified teams. And so we recommend that all four of them, which are Brown and Caldwell, Geosyntec, HDR, and Stantec get moved to the next phase, which is um, receiving the request for proposals and moving on to the proposal stage. Okay. Do we um, have any um, questions from any of the mem members on this call? No questions. Okay, so we will... Um, Take this motion to the meeting and then we will vote on it there. Okay. Um, action item B. Actually, we need a, a quick just motion to uh, approve. Oh, a motion recommend to approve. approval. Okay. Can we have a motion to approve this? Motion to approve. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Um, our second motion is to recommend modification for service authorization 378 for Grant Thornton in an amount not to exceed 103,000 to provide additional services related to the J.D. Edwards system upgrade. Madam Chair, we are going to turn it over to the Director of Finance, Karen. <laughs> Hello, what this motion is to do is to um, to award them some additional money under their contract, obviously. We came into you in the fall and we extended their contract through March um, of 31st of 2023. This is to provide additional services covering the, those costs outside of that original period of time where they're gonna be providing additional support for us. They also provided additional work related to licensing that wasn't covered under the original contract. The original budget for this project was a million four. So even with this contract extension, we are still well under the original budgeted amount. This service, this addition comes up to a little less than one, 
you know, it's a little over $1 million total contract for this, um, for this work. Um, once this work is completed, which we're hoping will be done here in the first quarter, um, we will be coming back in a year or so looking for a, a part B of the, of the program, but um, this will at least get us through getting the J.D. Edwards system upgraded. Thank you. Thank you. Um, any questions? Okay, hearing none, can I have a motion to recommend? Motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. Unmute. Aye, aye. Representative. Oh, you know what? I had a quick question. Can I second if I'm acting chair or does someone else need to second? Uh, no, you, you are just able acting. to yeah, make a motion or a uh, second as chair okay. of right. the size committee. <clears throat> okay. And All right. I think we Please lost the representative. There oh, she is. She is. Okay. All right. So I think we were on the. Sorry. I think I got booted. No worries. We were on the all in favor. Um, aye. So, aye. <laughs> Anybody opposed? Okay. All right. All right. We will take that um, recommendation to the main meeting. Um, the third action item C motion to recommend approval for service authorization to DLZ under the agreement for professional services, professional consultant services to perform the scope of services under capital project S486 Allegheny River Tunnel near surface facilities package six for an amount not to exceed $7,550,000. Michael, once again. Okay, thank you Arletta. Uh, th this is a follow up to last month's award of near surface package six for the Allegheny River Tunnel. This package includes about 9,000 feet of near surface sewer design for the Allegheny River Tunnel. Estimated cost of these near surface packages is, is this particular package is around 70 to 80 million dollars. Uh, the DLZ price initially uh, came in there uh, in their cost estimate was uh, near nine million dollars. Uh, Kim I and the procurement department successfully negotiated uh, DLZ down to approximately seven and a half million which we feel is appropriate given the amount of work. Uh, so we recommend award. Are there any questions? Okay, hearing none. Um, can I have a oh, sorry, question? quick question. Mm -hmm. um, what is, uh, can you talk a little bit more about um, the negotiation that you guys did in terms of um, what they offered and, and why you didn't think it was, you thought it was too much? Uh, yeah, a lot of what we, um, a lot of what we uh, kind of uh, looked at was uh, the, the interference with it's it's basically an open site which doesn't have a lot of buildings doesn't have a lot of utilities in it, it it's it's fairly from from a from a metropolitan standpoint pretty simple uh, from the standpoint of laying out a sewer and uh, doing geotechnical borings um, we also felt the number of sheets they had in the, in the drawing set, uh, they had upwards about 260 sheets was a little on the high side. So we, we did talk to them and they, they did kind of give us a, 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 a cut in their price based on uh, some of our comments. And, uh, you know, they had things in there like direct travel expenses that weren't really ironed down and, and other items uh, that we, we just felt they needed to find, provide better definition for. So I, I think we, we have a, a pretty good price uh, to, to, to at least get the project to, to uh, biddable, uh, a biddable state. So uh, I don't know, Kim, do you want to add anything there? Yeah, no, I think Mike, you covered it pretty well. Um, I think that we were also able to really drive into some of the um, expectations for the regulator structures and sh right. share with them that we expected them to be more simple perhaps than they had anticipated. And I think that helped with the bulk of the cost uh, savings as well. Yeah. Yeah, this line isn't going, going to go into service until uh, the ART is online. So it's going to basically sit there dry until such time as we're ready to uh, divert flow to the, the Allegheny River Tunnel. So uh, right, but you know, remember this is right. being done. This is being advanced because of the development. So right, you don't have yeah. to then go in and um, for the riverfront forty-seven. So, um, 
So we were able to just share, I think, more very specific um, aspects of the job and they had felt more certainty about um, their level of effort. Thank you. Yeah, I'm glad to hear that we got a 25% reduction. <clears throat> Um, yeah. I say we do that every time. And see if it's <laughs> <right>. <laughs> yeah, I think my I think my question was a little bit more accusatory. Uh, I intended uh, it to be, but I guess that was really what I was driving at. Is how did we get it down by twenty five percent? That's 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 significant. Um, all right. So, um, can I have a motion to recommend approval? Everyone's muted. <laughs> Sorry, uh, you cut out just for a second on me. I said, I said, everyone is muted. Ah. I I need a motion to recommend. Oh yes, that's what I cut. That's what I missed. Oh, oh. <laughs> sorry. Wrong uh, sentence. Okay, motion. All right, can I get a second, please? Second. Okay, that'll be me. Um. All in favor. Aye. Okay, great. Um, so we will take that motion to the main meeting and recommend the approval. Um, is there any new business? We, <clears throat> I would ask uh, to revisit the second RFQ that Mike would like to speak about briefly. Yeah. Um, Item B on the informational item. Uh, yeah, this real quick, this is the uh, RFQ for design services for the upper uh, sawmill and lower Ohio interceptors. This involves about three miles of cured in place lining. Approximately one mile of it is in Bethel Park and Castle Shannon. Another mile is along the lower Ohio. A half mile is up in, along the Alleg upper Allegheny. And there's some remaining pipe segments that we've examined recently that also need line because of pipe deterioration is being seen. Uh, just uh, as an FYI, we're also submitting a uh, H2O grant on this project for 14 and a half million to the Commonwealth Financing Authority for this project. So uh, that that item is going to, I believe, is going to be on the current board agenda. So we're, we're hopeful that we'll receive grant funding for this. Thank you, Mike. We are concluded now, Madam Chair. Well, thank you very much. Um, our next meeting is February 16, uh, 2023. Um, there were no other F months that I could have messed that up with. So I guess we were safe on that one. Um, so I'm going to, uh, if there's nothing else, I will adjourn the meeting and see you all at the board meeting, executive session. Yes, ma'am. Thank right. you. Thanks, everyone. Good Thank luck. you.